just wondering if this is this your signature dish for your restaurant? How you doing? Good. It smells delicious. How about a uh, vegetable lasagna throwdown? What do you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. Most of the people like actually take a second to think about it, but you obviously no. you didn't. No, 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 no. A lot of girls don't. You guys are ready. Off. Can you get me a cup of water behind you, please? Can you get me a tranquilizer? Fun came in layers at our vegetable lasagna throwdown. It's even tough to put a lid on it as our judges arrive. I don't know, Bobby. I think the size might be a dead giveaway to who made what. <laughs> what are you trying to say about that? I'm Marianne Esposito, and I'm the host of PBS's Chow Italia. I'm Amy Traverso, contributing editor at Boston Magazine and the author of The Pleasure of Apples. Lasagnas will be judged on three criteria. Sauce, use of vegetables, and overall taste. They start with A, Carla and Christine's zucchini lasagna. I'm gonna give you the big one. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice and mild and light. You know how some lasagnas can be very, mm -hmm. very heavy. Is it holds together beautifully when you mm -hmm. realize there's no noodles in here. Mm -hmm. I think this is a trick of lasagna. It surprises me. It's not what I expected. I would love a little more intensity with the tomato flavor, but um, you do get the strong zucchini flavor. It's, it's very fresh, and that really works. And I think the unique thing about this is that fried zucchini flour on top. Then they grab a forkful of B. My vegetable lasagna with mushrooms, tomato sauce, and cauliflower mornay. Very pretty. Looks more like a classic lasagna in some ways with the noodles. There are a lot of flavors in here. This is a really intense, rich lasagna and a little more tomato tang compared with A. The sign of a good lasagna is that the filling, you taste every part of it. I like the fact that there is a variety of flavors going on here. The mushrooms, for one, are very good. It's good. I think we have a winner. And the winner of today's vegetable lasagna throwdown is dish. Congratulations. Congratulations. Their lasagna has a lot of heart and uh, you know lots of family running through it and it tasted that way. So we go down in defeat today, but um, it was a uh, it was definitely a fun one. I think we made the whole North Bend really proud today, and that, that means a lot to us. I actually love Bobby's lasagna, but there was a lot going on, and the vegetables sort of took a second roll. The zucchini in Carla and Christine's lasagna was fresh, it was prominent, and it was all about the vegetables. So to all you awesome cooks out there, keep doing what you do, but ask yourself this. Are you ready for a throwdown? <laughs> <laughs> My surprise visit to Carla and Christine was greeted by tears from their mother. But these tears are tears of determination. They have it. They've had a chance before he even came. A trait she clearly passed down to her daughters. Clay, balata. I'm not worried about his vegetable lasagna. Come on, think about it. Clay, balata, pork belly, rigata. <laughs> what are you making, Bobby? We're going to make a... Uh, a very simple tomato sauce, some onions, some garlic, some canned tomatoes. And I'm going to also make a bechamel sauce, a very simple cream sauce, uh, some flour and some butter, make a roux, add some scalded milk. Are you yep. using pasta? Yes, we're using we're pasta. Using You're not using pasta. No, no what carbs, you... no meat. So is it, what, is there something that's... We can't tell you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're using zucchini to lay our lasagna. Zucchini, so zucchini, like zucchini noodles, like thin. Yeah. Okay, nice. We start sautéing our foursome of mushrooms, portobellos, cremini, shiitake, and porcini. I'm going to slice a couple of zucchinis. So we're going to dip it in our flour, then our eggs. So I, I just got to get this out of the way, Bobby. Go ahead. You really are so much cuter in person. Let me oh, tell you. Oh, thank you. 
Our big idea since the test kitchen was to give our lasagna extra punch by adding some serious vegetables to the cream sauce. We roasted the cauliflower first, then put it into the sauce, and then pureed it all together. So we're making the baguette stuffing. We have baguette cheese, eggs, parsley, romano cheese. We're almost ready to start assembling. That's when the fun comes in. I'm going to start with a little tomato on the bottom, and then I'm going to take the cauliflower sauce. So we start off with marinara sauce, a layer of the zucchini, the mixture of bagatta, and then we put mozzarella cheese. And you want it to come up and over because it's going to sink as it, as it bakes. It takes a long time to build. Especially when you're just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bobby does have an advantage. We never worked on a kitchen before. We never worked in a restaurant. We never waitressed, hostess. We only ate out nothing. We were hairdressers. So you went from hair salon to a restaurant. Yeah, you're a colorist. Christina comes up with a new idea like every night. This was one of her brilliant ideas. She always wanted to open a restaurant. So I think it's awesome that you guys, after being so successful in one thing, said, you know what, this is what we really want to do now, and did it. So it's really cool that you were able to do that, and well, successfully. So how do you like the restaurant business? Love it. Will you open another one? I think there's a lot of more uh, uh, other things related to the food business they would like to do first. Yeah, yeah. It could be on food TV. Uh, I didn't want right. to say it, but no. <laughs> I didn't want you to get scared of losing your job. <laughs> so we're done. We lay it. All right, I'm almost done. I'm going to go put it in the oven, uh, 375 for an hour with the foil, and then 15 minutes left. While our lasagna's cooked, the sisters pull out a trick I didn't see coming. So what are you doing with the squash blossoms? We dip them in the egg. And then you serve them on top of the lasagna? Yeah. Nice. I love squash blossoms. I really wish I'd come up with a tasty garnish, but it's too late for that now. Our lasagnas are ready. What? That's midnight snack in our house. <laughs> all right, here you are. Thank okay. you. Okay. This lasagna has to step up to the task of all the big talking that's been going on around here. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Good job, Mama. You shot them well. The thing that's amazing at that is that there's no noodles in here. I can't believe it. And I love the squash blossoms on top. We'll put this on our menu. <laughs> this is delicious. It is delicious. It's unbelievable. It's nice that you can taste all the different layers. You can taste the mushroom. All right, what do you say we feed these people? Yeah. All right. This is Bobby's, and you really get the layers of the bechamel, the red sauce, the mushrooms. It's delicious. He did a great job. The sister's lasagna is fantastic. I, I don't even like zucchini, and this is fantastic. It's so gooey and warm and just full of cheese. Bobby's feels more substantial, maybe because it has the noodles in it, and the mushrooms, if I didn't know they were mushrooms, I, was think, I would think I'm actually eating meat. We're having the ladies' lasagna right now, and it's so good. I can't believe there's no noodles in it. I know. I think the girls will definitely win. Bobby's is not Italian. It's really good. It's not Italian food. Carl and Christine's is much more Italian. This is Carl and Christine's, and it's, uh, it's more subtle than Bobby's. It needs noodles. I'm, I'm used to having noodles with my veggie lasagna. Seems like this battle stacks up to noodles versus not. Let's see how our judges slice it. All right, I think we should try some vegetable lasagna. 